Hi, I'm Gary White for Channel 6 Central Kentucky Television here at Marion County Middle School. And I'm here with some members of the Marion County Middle School Junior Beta. And we're talking about a service project that they have going on called Caring Cases. We're surrounded by a bunch of cases that have been collected. And the students here are going to tell us a little about this project. And we're going to start off here. Can you introduce yourself for us? I'm Carson Osborne. Carson Osborne is one of our members. And we have, I'm going to go down the line here and have you each introduce yourself, OK? Grace Mattingly. Maddie Spalding. Kate and Shoemaker. Okay. Phoebe Jones. Vanessa Van Wy. And? Evan Wheatley. Okay, fantastic. And all the students here that we have are from the seventh grade except for one, right? And who's our sixth grader? I'm um, Phoebe. Phoebe, okay. So, um, sixth and seventh grade students are taking part in this project that's been going on. So, what is the Caring Cases project? It is for all the foster kids who don't have suitcases to carry all of their belongings in. Okay, fantastic. So it's for foster students in our community, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, how did this project come about? Who came up with this idea for the project? After our beta club began researching many needs in our community, we knew we wanted to impact foster children in a positive way after learning that everyday foster children are transported to and from homes and facilities with all of their possessions packed in the garbage bags. While we couldn't imagine what these kids go through, because many times notification of the relocation and the move are minutes apart. So what you have are children being asked to pack up their life in minutes into a garbage sack. The thought of this traumatic experience on top of putting your most precious worldly belongings into a garbage bag is too much to bear. Okay. Thank you very much. Now how will these items be used in our community? We spoke to Miss Casey Newton who recruits and certifies foster homes. Miss Newton informed us that our Lincoln Trail region consists of 17 counties and currently serves 1,221 foster children. We will deliver all the packed suitcases to Miss Newton's office and she will distribute them as needed. We knew that our caring cases will give foster children a sense of stability and dignity as well as protect their possessions. Thank you very much. And you had a drop off locations there, did you say? Okay. Some of our locations are here, right here at our school, right from here, Marion see. County Middle School, okay. from Monday through Friday, from 7.30 to 4 o'clock. Also at Sheer Delight on Spalding Avenue in Lebanon, which are open Wednesday through Saturday from 8 o'clock to 4. Also on Hope at Cemetery Road in Lebanon, open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 4.30. We really need these donations because we want to give these kids a bit of light a bit of color in their lives. Let them know that we are there for them and support them and want to make them the stars they are. Fantastic. Now you have a lot of items that are here already. Who's been collect have some of you here been collecting that stuff already? The whole beta club has been donating gently used or new luggage and hygiene products and comfort items to help them through their difficult times. Okay, and is this one of the comfort items that you have here? Yes, this is um, this is one of the comfort items because we've all been there where we just need something to cuddle or curl up with whenever we're scared. Right. And since they move from place to place, they'll need something to comfort them. That's right. And something that's consistent, right, for them wherever they go. That's great. Okay, now with Beta, who here can tell me a little bit about Beta itself and the Junior Beta program? Going to be, that information for me. Beta is a nationwide club that is based off of four pillars: mm -hmm. character, leadership, achievement, and service. It's a group of kids who want to make a difference and positively impact their communities as well as others. Great. Now, this service project is something new this year. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And how long have you been in beta? Um, I've been in it for three years. Okay. What are some of the highlights for you for being part of the beta club? Here? Going to convention and spending time with my friends. Fantastic. Now, as you can see, we have a lot of these items and some of them you're packing up with some different stuff, right? Yes. Okay. Um, just uh, products like soap and um, Germex and stuff like that for kids. Because they'll need all these different items when they move from home to home, potentially, right? Mm-hmm. 
Great. What is, what's this project mean for you? How, what are you getting out of doing this project? Um, it's helping kids in need who like don't really get to get much stuff or have many people there for them. That's great. And we really appreciate everybody here taking part in this, being part of the Caring, is it Caring Cases service project, right, with the Junior Beta Club here. Did everybody get a chance to share their stories with us? Okay. The deadline date is um, December 1st, and we also have a goal of 100, and we are only halfway there. Okay, so their goal is 100. We have about 50, so we have a couple weeks now left still to bring those cases in, right? Yes. Okay. And can we go back through, tell us again the locations for drop-off. Um, one of the locations is our school, Marion County Middle School, and you can drop those off any time in the week from Monday or Friday, or Monday through Friday from 7.30 to 4 o'clock. Shears Delight on Spalding Avenue in Lebanon from Wednesday to Saturday from 8 o'clock to 4, and on at Hope on Cemetery Road in Lebanon from Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 4.30. And that's for the cases or the items, the hygiene items, as well as the care items and everything they need there. Well, thank you very much for taking part in doing this with us and sharing. This is a great project that you've been taking part of. Have you learned a lot or gotten something good out of doing this so far? Um, yeah, basically, um I don't, I don't. It builds our moral character and helps us realize how important it is to donate to those less fortunate than us. And we don't really make it about us. We want the community to know that we are proud to be here and we will help support them and our foster kids from Kentucky. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much. Again, we're at Marion County Middle School with the Junior Beta. This has been Gary White for Channel 6 Central Kentucky Television. Thank you.